Y'all get ready. Yes, you get ready. Shout out to all my tea sippers out there. We are gathered here today to sip some tea, honey. So make sure you guys have your tea cups ready because you already know this tea is what? Piping hot. Good morning, tea sippers. I hope you guys are doing good. So I want to go ahead and bless you guys with some voiceovers. So right now I'm on Twitter. A lot of shit's trending, honey. Okay. Once again, <laughs> trifling ass Texas, okay? He's back in the news. Shout out to everybody from Lovely News Network who remembers when we used to name the state. So don't come on my post getting offended in your feelings, okay? We've been calling it trifling Texas since 2010. So anyways, once again, Texas is trending and they're not trending because another rapper got shot. Thank God, okay? God is good. No rapper got shot in Texas this weekend. Um, but why they're trending is right now, Twerking literally is the number two trending topic on social media. And why is twerking trending? Because a restaurant owner at True Kitchen, um, he went off. He got mad because folks was twerking in his good establishment. And right now they got Ruth Crest trending. Okay. And all these other fine restaurants trending. The whole situation is crazy. Let me go ahead and play you guys the viral video of the restaurant owner going off. Y'all go ahead and check this out. I invested a lot of money into buying this building, into developing this concept, so black people can have somewhere nice to go to, okay? Somewhere where we can feel good about ourselves as a... Good morning. Stop the music, please. Somewhere where our people can feel good about ourselves as a culture, okay? Yeah. No, no, real talk. And so all this twerking and shit, take it to Prime, take it to Pink, don't bring it here because we're a restaurant. And so beyond that, 75% of my customers are ladies. And I want men to show respect for themselves for how they carry themselves here. So how can I tell the men to respect themselves and you guys are twerking on glass here? If you want to do it, get the fuck out of my restaurant. Because I did it for our people and I did it for our culture. So don't do it, no, don't do it again. I don't want to hear it. If you don't like it, get out because I don't need your money. I need to pr provide something for my people. And don't do it again. Thank you. All right, so you guys just saw the restaurant owner um, going off. The video is now viral, has over a million views on Twitter. And the person titled it Restaurant Suicide on Camera. So when I first watched it, I was like, okay, you know, this is a black-owned restaurant. This is this man's restaurant. And, you know, you have to know where you're at, okay? I doubt folks would have jumped up and started twerking and, you know, having a big old freak fest in the middle of Red Lobster. But then for me, you know, I like context. I don't want to assume anything. So I'm like, well, what inspired folks to just jump up and start twerking? You know what I'm saying? It looks like a nice restaurant. I see folks sitting down and, you know, I start reading the comments and I'm seeing folks saying that they were playing Meg Thee Stallion's Body Yachty song. And so I went to dig further because a lot of folks, it's a lot of debate. Folks are saying, oh, these black women are trying to ruin this black man's restaurant. He had the right to go off and everything else. But then I found other videos showing other angles. And this is why we have to research before we just run with anything. So there was a woman at the restaurant sitting down eating. And she was recording it. She was recording herself eating. They were playing um, Meg's music. And so you can see at that moment when the restaurant owner comes in and he starts going off like he is snapping. And um, from her angle, you can see that for the most part, everybody else is sitting there eating their food. So it wasn't a whole bunch of people twerking. It was literally one girl who jumped up and was twerking and shaking her ass. So I want you guys to watch these two other videos. Take it to Prime, take it to Pink, don't bring it here because we're a restaurant. And so beyond that, 
75 percent of my customers are ladies, and I want men to show respect for themselves for how they carry themselves here. So how can I tell the men to respect themselves? And you guys are talking on glass here. If you want to do it? Get the fuck out of my restaurant because I did it for our people and I did it for our culture. So don't do it. No, don't do it again. I don't want to hear it if you don't like it. Get out because I don't need your money. I need to pr provide something for my people. All right. So you guys just saw the other angles, and we saw the young lady up on the window, you know, twerking and shaking her ass. So, you know, let me go ahead and say this. And so now it's causing a huge debate. A lot of folks are saying that the restaurant should be canceled. Other folks are saying it should not be canceled. That's a black owned restaurant. We need to support them. People are accusing the owner of having an elitist attitude. And I mean, the debate is crazy. So this is my opinion on everything. I feel like as an owner, the way I feel like when you watch the video from that angle, you automatically assume that it's a bunch of black women. It's just a bunch of, you know, black women and they're all in the corner twerking and black women just don't know how to just carry themselves in public. As soon as they as soon as a beat drops, here comes their ass just shaking. They just can't sit still. So that was the vibe that people were kind of portraying. But when I saw the other ladies angle, I see plenty of black women who are sitting there eating their food as I would have been if I was in that restaurant. They're sitting down eating their food. One black woman, wasn't a whole pack, one black woman jumped up and started dancing and twerking and banging on the window, whatever she was doing. I think that the restaurant owner should have addressed her. I get what he's saying. You know, we need to respect ourselves. If you want men to respect you, it starts with self. I get the motivational talk, sir, but it's not fair to address a room full of women when only one woman was acting out. And folks can say, well, they shouldn't have been playing that song. You know, I think they're allowed to play whatever music they want to play. But you also have to know your environment. And I'm sorry. When I'm at the table eating, I don't want your ass shaking, you know what I'm saying, with your ass at the same level as my plate. Now, if we're in the club and we're standing up, we got drinks, cool, let's get it in. We're at a barbecue, there's space, cool, let's dance and get it in. If I'm sitting at my table about to put some food in my mouth, I don't want you shaking your ass by my plate. Sit your ass down, okay? There's a time and place to twerk. So, I, you know, so I understand people's frustration, but um, I didn't like the way he spoke to everybody in that room because he made it look like, unless you see those other angles, that it was a bunch of black women. And I saw a lot of comments, oh, that's what black women do. Black women just don't know how to sit down and eat their food. All they want to do is shake their ass. When there was plenty of black women in that restaurant who were doing just that. They were enjoying the ambiance, listening to the music, having conversation and eating. It was that one woman, you know, and I think she should have been addressed. But also it's about how you talk to people. You know, I didn't like that. Cussing at folks saying, get the fuck out of here. I don't need your money. That's not the way that you do it. I get the motivational speech. He made some good points, but when he got the cussing and saying you can get the fuck out, it wasn't that serious. Talk to her, let her know, hey, this is not that type of party. This is not the club. This is my establishment. I paid money for this. Please respect it. Please respect the fact that people are here eating. Don't make this about you. Please sit down. This is not the type of environment for that. I'd have respected that because I feel like this. Had that been a bunch of drunk white girls, that were, you know, dancing or even just one white girl that was, you know, Woo, here we go. Woo, twerk, twerk, twerk. I don't think he would have cussed her out like that. I think so many times as black people, we sometimes take advantage of the situation when we see our own. So think about it like this. Sometimes when we see a black face, right, we automatically like, we have no problem not saying everybody. But, you know, I've been guilty of this in the past. You see a black face. Hey, could I get a hookup? The homie hookup. We've all done that. You know, you see a black face. You want to go ahead and give me all the fries you can give me? No, sir. I can only put the amount of fries that can fit in the cup. Okay? <laughs> you know, so sometimes we do that. We take advantage, unfortunately. Or, you know, we don't want to go and... Or we're not as quick to go and support a black business like we would a, a white business, you know. So I think sometimes we we get comfortable with our own. And I believe that's what that restaurant owner did because he saw a black face. He was talking to them like he would his homeboys or his homegirls. And that was not the type of environment to do that. If you want your environment to scream prestige and class and what you're trying to, you know, convey your language just turned it gutter. Your language just made your restaurant look very hood boogerish the way you were talking to paying customers. So I think there was a lack of respect on both parts. 
as a woman and as an adult, you have to know your environment. You have to know that this is not the time and place to be twerking. This is not even the type of environment to be twerking, regardless of what music is playing. I mean, that's like them playing like some hardcore, you know, drill music. All of a sudden, we just all pull out our guns and start drilling. Like, come on, let, let's use common sense here. Doesn't matter what the music is. You still look at your environment. You act accordingly to the environment. If everybody else is sitting down eating, you should be sitting down eating. Have fun and rap and, you know, spit the lyrics with your homegirls at the table. But all that jumping up and twerking on the glass, that's attention seeking. OK, that's being an attention whore. You ain't got to do all that. But like I said, he got way too comfortable talking to them like they were his homegirls on the street. Now, if you want to exude class, you also must carry yourself with class. So I see a lot of faults in that. But I don't like this narrative that this was all black women and all black women do as soon as they hear a beat. They can't stop shaking their ass when, thank goodness, there were other angles showing that the majority of the restaurant was sitting down. So him flipping out like that, it was not that serious. So right now, y'all got good old Ruth Chris trending, okay? <laughs> and, PM, you know, poor Ruth Chris, they like, damn, what we do? What we trending for? <laughs> And a lot of people are, are now comparing Ruth Chris to True Kitchen and saying, you know, he has an elitist attitude. I'm no longer going there. Who does he think he is? Ruth Chris. But again, to be fair, a lot of y'all would not go into Ruth Chris and start twerking regardless of what music they played. OK, Y'all would not be in the middle of Red Lobster twerking regardless of what music they played. So, again, don't take advantage because it's a black-owned restaurant and think you can just do whatever. Just like with the owner, don't take advantage because, because you have black patrons and you think you can talk to them in any type of manner. Respect goes both ways, period, point blank. All right, you guys. So, there has been an update on the story. I had taken a nap. And I wanted to wait before I posted this video because everything went viral um, earlier in the day. And so the news, of course, got involved with this story. And there's a bit more that's come out. So like I said, I don't like to just jump on one angle of a video. So we had the original video of him yelling. Then we had the young woman who posted the video. And we just saw the one lady with the glass. Well, now the news has reached out to the owner of True Kitchen. And um, basically, they're showing a different angle. And it's multiple women on furniture dancing, twerking, acting a fool. Um, the owner's name is Kevin Kelly. And he also released a statement on Facebook as well. So I'm going to go ahead and read that to you guys after you guys watch this news clip. Go ahead and check this out. A Texas restaurant owner is responding after a video of him yelling at customers went viral. All this twerking. Take it to prime, take it to pink, don't bring it here because we're a restaurant. If you want to do it, get the out of my restaurant because I did it for our people and I did it for our culture. It started with some customers standing on furniture and twerking music played inside True Kitchen Plus cocktails. Owner Kevin Kelly says before the viral video was recorded, he asked the women to stop dancing and sit down. The viral video shows him addressing the whole restaurant, saying he invested a lot of money into it so that black people can have somewhere nice to go and feel good. The video spread quickly online, many saying Kelly addressed the situation poorly. He later posted on the restaurant's Facebook apologizing for using salty language, but not for calling out the women. He also posted other videos showing what the women were doing and how workers and management responded before he addressed the whole restaurant. Katie Johnston for CBS 11 News. Okay, so you guys just watched that news clip. So I went to his Facebook page and this is what he wrote. He says, thanks for the post. I appreciate your comments and I will share a bit more. There were three tables that had been spoken to about twerking. They were approached very politely less than 10 minutes before. Despite this, the last young woman decided to stand in our booth seats, place her hands against the glass window and start twerking on the glass. Enough was enough. For not only that lady, but for the three tables of women who were the only ones in our restaurant to act this way. As for the music, we created true for it to be a place this music could be enjoyed while we sit and eat. No song played as an excuse to stand on our furniture and do what that lady did. There are places for this and true is not one of them. As for my delivery, I can assure you I was a gentleman earlier, but my nice words were not respected. True will be for some and not all and this is okay. So that is what the owner, Kevin Kelly, had to say. So he kind of reiterated what I was saying in the beginning of this video before I had, you know, the full scope of everything that 
there's no excuse, regardless of what music, because people are trying to use it as an excuse. Well, if he don't want people twerking, he shouldn't be playing Meg's new song because that's a song that makes you want to twerk. Absolutely fucking not. Like I said, if he wanted to play drill music, should we all start pulling out guns and, you know, dancing? If he starts playing trap music, should we just all start rolling up weed? Like, you know, you have to know your environment. And when I saw that news clip, that was a disgrace. Like, come on, we have to stop excusing bullshit behavior, you guys. I did not excuse a young girl the first half of the video that I saw with her twerking on the glass. I thought that was tacky. But then to see the other angles of grown women on furniture, you know, twerking, just acting a fool, that's not cool. Again, we live in this attention-seeking culture where everybody wants to go viral, everybody wants attention. And so, of course, we only saw the first, you know, few minutes of him going off, but not getting the full context. And that is why social media, I feel like before people rush to make a judgment, try to dig and find other videos, other angles, you know, try and get the full context because people are trying to not boycott and cancel this man. This is this man's business, okay? It's hard enough for a lot of restaurant owners during C-19. He's been able to make maintain and so for people to come in there and act a fool that's not okay you guys are not the only ones in this restaurant there were plenty of people there eating sitting down acting accordingly but you had a table of attention seekers who felt the need to get up and dance that wasn't the place and it wasn't just a simple you know dancing in your seat you got women literally standing on furniture the other woman was twerking on the glass and the thing is people have to realize this as a restaurant owner if one of these women fell or got hurt, guess who's getting sued? He is. You know, people never take all that into consideration. Everybody just wants to do whatever they want to do, and you can't tell them nothing. But as soon as somebody gets hurt, the first thing they're trying to do is run and sue the restaurant owner. So I think he was right to, you know, go off on them. But I stand by my original statement. You can't cuss people out. That that wasn't cool. Like, I understand him being frustrated, being upset, but all that, get the F out, that was just too much, you know, Saying y'all need to leave, y'all gotta go. That that would have sufficed. But all that cussing, that's where that kind of ruined it for me. Cause as an owner, you still have to keep your composure. But those women were dead wrong for what they did. So we need to be very mindful of who we go about trying to cancel because it looks like this is a man who's trying to run his business a certain way. And you got a bunch of folks in there just, you know, wanting to run amok. Again, if you want to twerk and dance while you eat, do that shit at home. OK, and, you know, especially during C-19, people are already nervous. You're already in a restaurant. I see that they have, you know, the tables kind of separated. You know, it's a lot of anxiety right now with people going out. I don't need you shaking your Corona near my food. Just sit your ass down and eat. OK, thank you, ma'am. <laughs> so, like I said, this entire situation is crazy, but I want to hear your thoughts. So anyways, you guys, let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. Let me know your thoughts on this entire crazy story that's trending all over social media concerning the restaurant True Kitchen. Do you feel like the owner overreacted? Or do you feel like what he was saying is the truth? And then do you agree with me that sometimes as black people, we kind of take advantage of each other? Even if it's subconsciously and we're not realizing it, you know, sometimes we do that. Not everybody, not in every situation, just saying that it can happen. Where he felt comfortable to talk to them crazy because they're black, she felt comfortable twerking because this was a black-owned restaurant. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button if you have not subscribed. Don't forget to hit that thumbs up. And most importantly, don't forget to hit that notification bell so that we can be down with the notification squad, honey. So let's go ahead and get the discussion popping. Go ahead and leave a comment. All right. Deuces.